Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show a new app that Medit has been working on. It is called Compare. It is intended to show the differences between arches of the same patient and the evolution of this patient in time. Let's just jump into it. Uh, the three apps that uh, are here up here are the new ones. One is Compare. We'll just start it now. And uh, the Compare app is going to ask us what we want to compare. So we will choose the file that we need to from the case we are working on and we are going to find the same patient in our patient list and import an older arch. Okay, let's do this. Both arches are uh, just opened up. As you can see, they are not aligned. So first thing we have to do is uh, to set them in the correct position. This is done by choosing the alignment mode in this application. Here we will be asked uh, which app aligns to which and they are already selected here. Okay. Um, now with this function already in place we can choose to try an automatic alignment. Okay, let's hope this works and it's great. It's, uh, it's been aligning them perfectly. But let's say this didn't work, so we're just gonna disalign them and try to manually align. Okay, let me just do this. Manual alignment uh, works as intended with one point alignment or three point alignment. Let's just try one point alignment first as you know it from the iScan app and it works very good now let's try the three point alignment again and see that feature as well okay and let's just see them get together as they did before okay yeah, perfect match. So, one more feature, a very nice one. If the arches need a little bit of temp tinkering with, so that they align even better, or if um, you just want to align by surface, just click the third option. And let's just see how this works. And we're gonna align by painting surfaces that are common between the two scans. Let's just try with the teeth. Okay. And just see how this works as well. And have the up align the old model with a new one. This up is very nice if you try to align arches or even bridges with arches that have the same bridge already scanned in like a wax up let's see how this fits together yeah perfect perfect match as well so with these three, the three functions out of the way let's just see how the arch got modified during time this is a provisional that got abrased and we'll see how much this happened. Here we will see that the arches are uh, colored and we have um, deviation display mode where we can see how well th those two fit together and, as, uh, and also how well they, um, how, <laughs> how much they modified. And so here we can further see that we have some common areas and some areas that uh, are not the same. Let's just see how discrepant they are. By clicking on them, we are going to see the deviation measured and also colored 
with different colors. Green is uh, a very high precision and uh, the models are the same. And we have positives and negatives. We can also modify these numbers, the green numbers, just by double clicking. Let's try with the 15 microns setting for positive and negative. And already they start to uh, show more of a green arch. We have to take into account that uh, also there are discrepancies between uh, the scans as well, uh, given by the, or by the different moments the scanner was uh, doing the, the full arch. Okay, uh, by clicking uh, the remove button, we can also remove the measurements that we did, we've done. We can also do a cross section. After doing a cross section, then disabling the models will be able to also have a better visual of what happened and we see that the incisal vestibular area got smaller due to abrasion okay next function is uh, going to show us the roughness of the model so how smooth or rough the model is and this is also available uh, by uh, value given so if we want to modify the 150 microns uh, that was considered smooth here we can just enter let's say 50 and uh, also 500 uh, or uh, 50 microns as well and of course uh, they are uh, a very beautiful rendered color scale that is very helpful to us. We can disable the color scale if you want. And let's just go to the third function. The third function is a curvature display mode. And this is going to show how deep we have uh, pockets or how uh, sharp margins are with red and blue. This is also very helpful if we want to detect a margin of a preparation and um, this also can be modified by this slider here. A very helpful function as well. Okay. The red color represents the embossed curve of uh, and the blue color represents the engraved curve okay let's see what we also have in stock here we uh, we can also modify the transparency of objects next function next function is about positioning objects in the three dimensional space let's ha see how we can move them together or not. We can translate them in any direction we need compared to the main uh, XYZ axis. So right here, I could, for example, want to turn my model to face me. Let's see how this works for, uh, let's say, 12 degrees. Yeah, or maybe even 40, 14, okay. Both models have uh, rotated and we can also scale them on every axis together or just on one axis. This could be interesting for printing or other functions as well. Further ahead, we have the measurement tools that you are all so familiar with from the uh, scanning application. Those are the same tools and they are very useful here because you can measure how much deviation we uh, got between models, not just see them by color scale in the uh, tool before. Let's see, we disable both models and now We can measure what happened here. Let's see. So, model got modified by around 160 microns. Okay, 
We have various tools here for measurement of angles of surfaces uh, and um, also we can delete uh, older measurements if using the last uh, tool in the lower right. The last one that uh, I like the most is also very helpful for, cu for cutting models together or for cleaning models. And I'm gonna show you this real quick, cutting models together by polyline or uh, by painting surfaces. You are all familiar with these tools, they are very useful. Okay, but if we exit this case, we can go to another one. And in this case, as you can see, I have some little artifacts that I'm gonna try to remove with uh, tools inside Compare. Let's jump straight to this. Okay. I'm gonna select the arch open and here for this to work well I am going to use the trimming tools and more specifically the painting tool of uh, this section and we will remove this and now we're gonna go straight on the other part of the model and remove that little part as well being with a map mesh flipped you're only going to be able to select what face is you so it's very easy to do this you just don't need to worry that you're gonna select anything else as you can see here, nothing got selected and now we'll just delete the floating part. And now, if I exit the case but before I export the new maxilla base, as a maxilla base modified, I am going to be able to see it in the scan. Okay, export is successful and right here if we see the traded data we'll be just able to close the hole that we just created with the closing tool this is already closed just one second yeah here we go and I advise you to not cover empty spaces with color adjacent or neighboring because you'll never gonna know where you did it. So if the final uh, prosthetics is not going to fit, if you uncheck this, you're gonna know exactly where it was modified. And you can fix it as well. So let's just save it. And we're gonna see that this part here got the corrections that we need and now we can send it to print or mail. Thank you guys, I hope you liked the new tool and you, that you are going to use it as much as possible. Have a wonderful day.